Hello and welcome to Intermission, hosted by Andrew. Give it up for your local movie buff and host, Andrew. Hello and welcome to Visual Recreation Presents Intermission, hosted by yours truly, the movie buff, Andrew. Uh, Each week, I will be talking about new movies coming out and what they're all about. Uh, This week's movie is Wonder Woman. That's right, DC and Warner Brothers collide to bring us Wonder Woman, the female superhero that's equivalent to Superman. In the long run, I mean, I know nerds are going to be yelling at me, but that's just my opinion. Uh, this is a your run-of-the-mill origin story on Wonder Woman. We're going to see her in Amazonia, and then here on Earth, gelling with Chris Pine and whatnot, running around New York with a shield and fighting in the Civil War, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really sure what's happening in the trailer like fully but um, when I go see it I'm sure it all makes sense Uh, this movie stars Gal Gadot and Chris Pine like I said originally this movie was also written by Alan Heinberg who has also written not a lot of movies um, but he has written a lot of television which he's written episodes of Gilmore Girls Scandal and Grey's Anatomy the same could be said for Patty Jenkins, the director of Wonder Woman. She has not directed a lot of film film. Uh, she did direct a behind-the-scenes look at Batman vs. Superman. It was only 30 minutes long, and it was hosted by Kevin Smith. It was just basically a panel kind of thing that you find on YouTube. Um, but, hey, it's something. But she's also directed a lot of television shows, um, most notably Entourage and things to that nature. Ever since it was announced, Wonder Woman has been in the news almost weekly. Um, And not just because it was going to be in Justice League in November later this year, but because Alamo Drafthouse and its affiliates have made women-only screenings. That's right. And realistically, if there was going to be a women-only screening in any movie sense, it would be Wonder Woman. Um, Generally, of course, this sparked outrage on the internet, mostly by men. I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to accomplish with making this controversial. Are you wanting men-only screenings? Like, what movie would that be? Uh, Transformers? I don't want that. The only thing I ever want is a me-only screening. Can I just have a movie theater all to myself where I can watch Fight Club just in a movie theater all by myself? To me, that sounds pretty cool. Other than that, I don't know. To me, it's not that big of a deal. Have your women-only screenings. I think it's great. But I don't agree with is some people took to the internet to retaliate or reply and labeled that these men in their reply as man babies. Uh, Let's not get to name calling here. So what if they're man babies and they want to just, oh, wah, wah, wah. You know what? While you're seeing Wonder Woman in your women's only screening, they can go see a movie like Captain Underpants, which is also coming out June 2nd. Um, Or just put on an episode of Wonder Pets and have them sit in that crib thing where you just bounce all the time, the bouncer. And uh, let them go to nap nap or call a babysitter. These man babies can just have the time of their lives. Maybe women, if you go see, go see the women only screenings with your girlfriends and then maybe promise to go take your significant others or whatever the men in your life are to you and go see it again for a second time. But I mean, that's just my opinion. If you want to defuse the situation, I'm a fixer. Um, but yeah. That's all I have for this week's episode of Intermission, hosted by me, Andrew. Um, Join me next week, where I will be talking all about The Mummy. Yeah, watch out. Uh, Tom Cruise has double pupils. See that? You see that in the trailer? He has double pupils, and he can survive plane crashes. That's pretty... Oh, it's going to be so bad. Oh, man.